Hi, my name is Mariana Perez. I hope you're all doing good. I'm going to talk about antimicrobial fabric treatments and I'm going to start with a small introduction. Today's consumers demand high performance from textiles. Whether the fabric could be for apparel, home textiles, or outdoor applications, a purchasing decision is often based as much on the functional aspects of a fabric as on color and texture. Therefore, antimicrobial fabric can offer added value to many different types of goods. What is an antimicrobial? It's an agent that kills microorganisms or inhibits their growth. They create odors in intimate and athletic wear. They proliferate in medical environments. They can cause other allergic reactions, and they can also be responsible for stains in upholstery and other household items. Antimicrobial fibers are textiles to which antimicrobial agents have been applied either at the surface or within the fibers. Antimicrobial fibers have attracted a great deal of interest in recent years to their potential for reducing the transmission of infection in medicals and healthcare environments. Microorganisms grown on textiles. Textiles have been lead to retain moisture and enable microorganism growth. The growth of microorganisms reduces the textile's mechanical strength, stains the fabric, and lets other more pernicious microbes breed. Microbial growth also attacks outdoor textiles such as awnings, tents, or lawn furniture and leads to discoloration and degradation. Different effects of microbes on textiles. Unchecked microbe growth leads to others, infection, and the possibility of contaminations. Also, natural fibers tend to provide an excellent environment for microorganisms to grow. These fibers are of key importance in sanitation and medical applications. The benefits of antimicrobial treatments in fabrics. They can offer freshness, stain protection, and it also extends product life. These fabrics are increasingly finding applications in the wider textile and apparel industry. They are used also in fabrics all around the home, including socks, mattresses, baby diapers, and coverings. How is antimicrobial treatments applied to fabric? They can be applied during staining or extraction combined with dyes or pigments. Also, during normal textile finishing processes, meaning no special equipment or processing steps are required. By coating, padding, exhaustion, or foaming, an additive can typically be used in combination with other common auxiliaries. Certain antimicrobial additives for fabrics can also be included during the extrusion process of synthetic fibers such as polyester, polyamide, or pro polypropylene. Where is antimicrobial fabric used? Housewares, commercial apparel, building products, and healthcare. Housewares could be towels or carpets, commercial window coverings, military fabrics, apparel, jackets, fleeces, building products, architectural fabrics, for example, and masks or bedding for healthcare. Active ingredients used for antimicrobial fabric treatment. For antibacterial fabric, we have zinc, pyrithione, silver, selen, quaternary, ammonia compounds, and polyhexamethylene, biwadine. For antifungal fabric, we have isothianocylone and thiavendazole. And for antimicrobial fabric, we have synergistic combinations of different actives. When creating an antimicrobial treatment, we need to be sure that it's suitable for textile processing, durable during laundering, and it's safe for use on skin or area of applications, and also conducive to the biology of the planet. The difference between antimicrobial fabrics versus untreated fabric. This is an example of the benefits of antimicrobial fabrics. Under the right conditions, mold and mildew can flourish by using the fabric as a food source. Antimicrobial fabrics provide antibacterial and antifungal protection, keeping the styles clean and safe from attack. The untreated sample supported heavy amounts of the black mold after seven days of incubation. The antimicrobial fabric is free of fungal growth, maintaining aesthetic appeal and tensile strength. This is the three sources I use, Rachel Davis webpage, antimicrobial textiles webpage, and antimicrobial fabric and non-woven textiles.
Thank you for listening to my presentation. Bye, guys.